So to put the epoxy on, you see I just mixed up one drop of hardener and one drop of the resin. It turns out that was about one tenth of one gram. So I put that on here and you can see that's on the very end of the clip. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this harden for at least a full day uh, just to make sure that I get maximum strength out of this. I don't want to disturb it once it starts to cure. And then I'll just finish the rocket after that. All I have left to do really is just uh, put the recovery system on, streamer, and uh, and paint it. So uh, let me go ahead and get this all finished up. So I'm all done with the rocket. The rocket is nicely painted. I put some gray primer under here, a base coat of black, covered this with some sparkly glaze, and I add some yellow on the fins to match the nose and some red for these other fins. Otherwise, I'm all set to fly. I just have to put the streamer in it and I'll be ready for launch. And we have our next launch coming up in March. So this should be a really fun rocket to fly again. Custom design, you can see just by taking the kits, I bought two of them, putting all the parts together. You can come up with your own custom rocket design, a little bit different, fun, and go ahead and uh, experiment. That's what rocket science is all about. So have fun.